Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Elizabeth Blackwell. Elizabeth Blackwell, February 3, 1821 to May 31, 1910, was a British-born physician, notable as the first woman to receive a medical degree in the United States, as well as the first woman on the UK Medical Register. She was the first woman to graduate from medical school, a pioneer in promoting the education of women in medicine in the United States, and a social and moral reformer in both the United States and in the United Kingdom. Her sister Emily was the third woman in the U.S. to get a medical degree. Elizabeth was born on February 3, 1821 in a house on Dixon Street in Bristol, Gloucestershire, England, to Samuel Blackwell, a sugar refiner, and his wife Hannah Blackwell. The Blackwell's financial situation was unfortunate. Pressed by financial need, Elizabeth and her sisters started a school, the Cincinnati English and French Academy for Young Ladies, which provided instruction in a variety of subjects, and charged for tuition, room, and board. In 1846 Blackwell started teaching at a boarding school in Charleston, North Carolina run by a Mrs. Dupre. During this time she inquired into the possibility of medical study via letters with no favorable responses. She then moved to Philadelphia and studied anatomy privately with Dr. Jonathan M. Allen. In October 1847, Blackwell was accepted as a medical student by Hobart College, then called Geneva Medical College, located in upstate New York. In the summer between her two terms at Geneva, she returned to Philadelphia, stayed with Dr. Elder, and applied for medical positions in the area to gain clinical experience. On January 23, 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first woman to achieve a medical degree in the United States. The local press reported her graduation favorably, and when the dean, Dr. Charles Lee, conferred her degree, he stood up and bowed to her. In 1852, she began delivering lectures and published The Laws of Life with special reference to the physical education of girls, her first work, a volume about the physical and mental development of girls. In 1857, Dr. Marie Zakrzewska, along with Blackwell and her sister Emily, who had also obtained a medical degree, expanded Blackwell's dispensary into the New York Infirmary for Indigent Women and Children. Women served on the Board of Trustees, on the Executive Committee, and as attending physicians. The institution accepted both in and out patients and served as a nurse's training facility. When the American Civil War broke out, the Blackwell sisters aided in nursing efforts. By 1866, nearly 7,000 patients were being treated per year at Blackwell's New York Infirmary, and in 1868, a medical college for women adjunct to the infirmary was established. It incorporated Blackwell's innovative ideas about medical education, a four-year training period with much more extensive clinical training than previously required. Blackwell later established a women's medical school in London. She officially retired from her medical career in 1877 and died on May 31, 1910 at her home in Hastings, Sussex, after suffering a stroke that paralyzed half her body. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Elizabeth Blackwell. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.